हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture, let us understand high-level architecture of long-term evolution, which is LTE, and also 4G technology. First, let us understand high-level architecture of long-term evolution. So, this diagram shows the architecture for long-term evolution, as you can see here, the LTE, and it also shows the GSM as well as UMTS. Here, UMTS is Universal Mobile. telecommunication service so gsm is with respect to second generation system and umts is with respect to third generation system and lte is long term evolution basically it is related to fourth generation system so in gsm we are having circuit switch domain as core network and in umts we are having packet switch domain as core network in long term evolution the circuit switch domain is kept as it is but there is evolution in the packet switch domain section so this section was evolved as shown in this figure here packet switch domain is replaced with epc which is evolved packet core and utrn is evolved into eutrn which is evolved universal terrestrial radio access network along with this user interface is also evolved where this user interface can adapt for any changes in the technology here user equipment is also evolved which means there are some changes made in user equipment so that it can adapt for the long term evolution of communication technology here third generation partnership project are redesigned both the radio network as well as core network the core network as well as radio network was redesigned and it is known as long term evolution long term evolution used ofdm and qam technology for modulation if we say ofdm which is orthogonal frequency division multiplexing and qam is quadrature amplitude modulation it uses 10 to 20 megahertz channels and downlink rate is up to 100 mbps so which is greater than the previous generations umts which is universal mobile telecommunication service is the main technology behind third generation so third generation uses the technology which is known as umts utran which is universal terrestrial radio access network as you can see in this diagram consists of multiple radio network subsystems so radio network subsystems we can call that as rns this radio network subsystem is equivalent to base station subsystem the core network is similar to the network and switching subsystem of gsm architecture the main function is to perform packet routing connection of users security billing and connection of umts to external packet switch and circuit switch network so that is the function of core network evolved packet core which is epc so as you can see here we are having epc here which is evolved packet core so it support access to packet switch domain and it will not support to circuit switch domain so it will support only access to packet switch domain it will not support to circuit switch domain the function of epc is to provide policy control interconnection to external network and subscriber charging so these are the different functions of epc evolved utran as you can see here in this diagram is the network which handles the epc radio communication with user equipment it distributes voice and data using packet switch technology and voice calls are transported over voice over ip so which is voice over internet protocol now let us understand fourth generation technology which is 4g technology 4g technology has mainly three benefits which is improved speed reduced latency and crystal clear voice calls so fourth generation technology provided more speed compared to previous generation so it has reduced latency which means there was no delay in communication 
and it provided crystal clear voice calls. It had two main technologies which is WiMAX and LTE. We understood about LTE in our previous video which is long term evolution. WiMAX is enhancement of previous fixed wireless standards of mobility. So it is the improvement or enhancement of previous fixed wireless standards for mobility. The advantages of fourth generation is that it provided wireless high data applications. If we say wireless high data application, which means it included multimedia consumption such as video and audio streaming, video gaming, video conferencing and cloud computing applications. So these are the advantages of fourth generation technology. So there are different requirements of 4G technology or we can say 4G technology provides all these features for communications. First one is high spectral efficiency. So spectral efficiency was more reduced cost per bit, increased service by increasing the efficiency. So efficiency is increased and the service is also increased. Open interfaces, power efficiency, flexible usage of frequency bands. So these are the different requirements for 4G technology. This is about a high level architecture for long term evolution and 4th generation technology. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.